afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. It's time for another Dutch lesson. And as it's the 23rd of December, that's two days before Christmas, I'm going to skip the normal Dutch lessons and I'm going to tell you a bit about the Christmas traditions that we have here in the Netherlands. Exciting? Yeah, I thought so. A bit different from the norm, but hey, we can't have normal Dutch lessons every day. And the idea of these videos was to also teach you about Dutch culture, so... Uh, the Dutch word for Christmas is Kerst. Um, to say Merry Christmas, we say Vrolijk Kerstfeest. Or we also can say Fijne Kerstdagen. Uh, sometimes people will wish you also a Happy New, Happy New Year with that, which is Gelukkig New Year. And uh, we have two Christmas days in the Netherlands. We have December the 25th and the 26th. I know in England that means that that's Christmas Day and Boxing Day and in America you only have one Christmas Day. And for the rest of the world, I don't know. I just know about these three countries. I'm talking about the Netherlands, so we'll go further with talking about this country. What do we do on the first Christmas Day? Usually on the first Christmas Day, some people do it both Christmas Days or some people choose to do it on the second Christmas Day. But for us, on the first Christmas Day, the Eerste Kerstdag, we uh, we ga gourmetten. We're gonna do um, gourmet or gourmet. I think you pronounce it in English. And um, for gourmet or gourmet, we use this wonderful piece of equipment, which is uh, all boxed up. So I'm not gonna unbox it for you. It's boxed up because we further moved house, so the box needed to be sealed, of course. But this is known as a gourmet pan, and I'm um, not really. I'm really looking for a picture here that you guys can see. See, you can see the idea of this here with this picture is that we have tiny little pieces of meat or fish or other yummy tasty stuff. The pan's placed in the middle of the table and there's a cord that comes from it that goes into a power outlet and this turns itself into a nice big hot plate. And uh, then all these little pieces of yummy food like the examples you see on the picture here we can take for ourselves and we can put them on the hot plate and cook them as we will. It comes with um, mini little pans that go slide underneath the hot plate so that the, you can warm up vegetables or potatoes and the meat is cooked on the top, just as you see in the picture. In the example, so it's called a gourmet pan. A gourmet pan is what it's called and that's what we're going to do on Christmas Day. We're going to gourmet, we're going to do gourmet which is uh, really exciting and it's something that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, if I can get pictures, I will post pictures on Christmas Day or just after Christmas Day on the Two Land Dutch Facebook page so that you can see what it's all about. I'm sure I'll be able to get a couple of pictures. So that's something that you can look forward to is seeing pictures of us doing gourmet, which is something that I'm really looking forward to. So we do that and we do it in the evening, so we do it around 5 or 6 p.m., which is dinner time for us. So during the day we eat other nice things. Last year I ate apple pie. And uh, yeah, people eat other tasty nice things too on Christmas Day. And of course we do presents, which is not a tradition in England, like you get up first thing in the morning and the first thing you do is open presents. In Dutchland or in Netherlands, we do presents sometimes during the day, normally in the afternoon on the first Christmas day. Uh, other families can choose to do it differently because there are two days. But I, as I have learned with my adopted Dutch family, we do it on the first Christmas day and we do it sometime in the afternoon. And the people just take a present from under the tree and give it to the person whose name is on the present and that person gets to open it. And we all take turns to take a present from the tree and it's given to the person whose name is on the present. So that's also a really fun thing to do. Christmas is about presents and about food, or at least that's how it is, goes in this country. It's all about, also about family. So family will get together on Christmas Day and uh, we'll do all that fun stuff together. What I want to know is what do you guys do in your country? I know, in, like I said, I know in England uh, it's a tradition that we get up first thing on Christmas morning and the first thing that we do is open the presents. I've experienced that, of course, because I come from England. Um, and Christmas dinner is eaten at lunchtime rather than at dinner time, and it's usually turkey with potatoes and vegetables and whatever. 
And uh, this in America, I'm not quite sure of. So if you can tell me your uh, tradition in America, I would love to hear that. And whatever other country you're from, do you celebrate Christmas in your country? And if you do, what's your Christmas tradition? But anyway, the Hobbit, the Hobbit one, is our tradition. It's what we'll do together with the family and do packages and eat other nice stuff throughout the day. So yeah, it's going to be exciting and it's going to be fun. I will go through the words again that I've uh, mentioned in today's video. The word for Christmas is Kerst. If you want to say Merry Christmas, we say Vrolijk Kerstfeest, or we say Fijne Feestdag, or Fijne Kerstdagen, which also means Merry Christmas. And if you want to wish people a Happy New Year with that, you can say Gelukkig New Jaar. This is a gourmet van. Uh, the word for family in Dutch is Family. Uh, the word for present in Dutch is Cadeau. Uh, there are lots of other Christmas words, but I'm not going to go through them in the video. If you want to see more Christmas words, I've been doing them as Dutch Word of the Day recently. So hop over to our website www.justconnect.eu and uh, check out the Dutch Word of the Day down there and you'll learn some other new Christmas words. Oh, this has been a little bit exciting for you and uh, we'll see you again in the next Dutch lesson. Bye guys!